You can't predict baseball. These who's unlikely champs with unlikely heroes. The freshman outfielder, Adam Hazley, called on to pitch in game two, dazzling Vandy's deep lineup. And then there was Thomas Woodruff, the walk-on who graduated weeks ago, holding off on a career in engineering, banging out clutch hits. Freshman Pavin Smith hitting 208 in Omaha, a game three home run, and then the go-ahead RBI single. Nathan Kirby, the injured ace, closing it out. This team was one of the last at-large teams to make the field. No one would have predicted this would be the team to end the ACC's 60-year drought. Flashback, Wake Forest in 1955, back when the campus was in Wake Forest. The Deeks had great baseball players with great baseball names. Linwood Holt, Luther McKeel, Jack McGinley, Lefty Davis. Since their championship, 44 other ACC teams made it to Omaha and came up empty. And we're talking about some great teams. Last year's Virginia team had a significantly better resume, but it couldn't do what this one did, beat Vanderbilt in game three of the championship series. Mike Martin is one of the three greatest coaches in college baseball history. He's been to the College World Series 15 times. He's never won a title. In 1999, his Knowles got to the championship game, but lost. That team bashed. Marshall McDougal hit six home runs in one game that year. Ironically, that powerful 99 Knowles team lost in the final to Jim Morris's Miami Hurricanes. Proof of the ACC curse, the Canes have four national titles all before they joined the conference. Mike Fox and UNC made it to the championship series back-to-back -back years, 2006 and 2007, and lost both times to the same school, Oregon State. That 2006 College World Series, the ACC had four of the eight teams. Right there, you're starting with 50-50 odds. In the end, nothing. Go back to 1994. Danny Hall, in his first season at Georgia Tech, guided the Yellow Jackets, including Nomar Garcia Parra, to the title game. No team in the country had more talent, but in a one-game final, Tech came up short. 0 oh, and 44. Do you realize the odds of that? Now, the streak is over, thanks to a team that overcame long odds. It doesn't make sense that the ACC went through a 60-year drought. It doesn't make sense that this Virginia team broke the streak. But don't ever forget, you can't predict baseball.